Okay, uh, that is better. Welcome back to Alaska Road Truckers. Uh, we are starting the winter just at the very start of it. Uh, last episode, that was uh, quite challenging. The winter is really challenging. Uh, and it was really cold. It got to 10 in the morning and now it's at minus 11, so our guy seems to be fairly happy. The little heart in the bottom left seems to be recovering. Uh, the chains on the tires got put back on automatically, it would seem. And we got the tires changed, so last episode got the tire workshop going. Um, so that's good. We're rested, we need some food. Uh, lots to do. I uh, need to refuel, need to stock up on food, need to get a job, need to fix the truck. <laughs> Tons of things. And supplies. I like guess there's just a ton of things to get done. I'm not going to bother redecorating for Halloween. We're just going to keep this through the winter, I think. But we uh, we need to top up a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know what all the symbols mean there. One's coolant. One's radiator. Uh, maybe the other one's oil. I don't know. I don't think I have anything with us. So we might go into town. Go to fuel up and fix the truck there is what I'm thinking we should do. Okay, that's what I'm thinking we should do. Because I could just fix it right in. I mean, you can also go to a repair place, right? But I'd rather fix it myself uh, so that we get the points, right? So let's set a waypoint to the fuel here. And let's get rolling. So we'll get rolling right away. Handbrake off. This is all good. Truck's looking okay here. Looks very uh, kind of foggy out here. Oh, let's uh, throw in reverse. Get rolling. So yeah, I need to buy some supplies, food, fuel up. All that good stuff. Alright. Maybe we'll just keep it in third person for a moment. Ah, uh, no, let's jump into first person. Drive it like we stole it. Some NASCAR style here. So I do have to be careful though, because we I spent some money on the tire workshop and had to use the radio to get some emergency fuel because the, the fuel just kind of disappeared on me. I, I guess I fell asleep with the truck on. Like went inside the HQ and slept through the night with the truck on. I'm assuming that's what happened because I, I had enough fuel to drive back into town. Oh, don't know. Well, I guess we need some wipers. Oh, pay attention where we want. There we go. All right, so it's just 26 miles to town. I'll just fly in there, find the gas station. Now this is a nicer winter day. This is a little bit better. It's just uh, foggy out, not very clear. Oh, we're here. Dirt. Whoa. Sorry, I meant to do that. Oh. Oh, there goes a the headlight and engine. Uh. You know what? That's fine. It's just going to get us more experience points. You know, I look on the bright side of things. There's more things to fix, more experience points, more things to unlock. into uh, Cantwell. There. There, after a while you start getting used to the, the handling of the gamepad. So the turning's not so bad once you get used to it. And 
Alright, so the gas station is right ahead. Let's get fuel in it right away. Man, just... The money is just being eaten. Here, man, oh man, oh man. Okay, let's go to... I guess you can only park in the one spot. No problem. Perfect. Okay, so let's shut everything down. Handbrake. Thank you, because I was still rolling. Uh, windshield wipers off. And... Heater off for now. Ignition. There, let's get this truck in shape here. Alright, so I gotta remember, because I always forget, you have to pick the amount first. And it takes a moment. Okay, there, it's gonna be almost $700. I spent $1,200 for a little bit of gas right now. Oof, that's like two, two grand in fuel. Pretty much the entire job last episode has gone into fuel. Crazy. Watching the money go away. 162 gallons. Oh man, we're gonna have to definitely do some jobs here uh, where we do not break the truck or do not uh, need tow services or anything. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, actually go in and buy stuff because we're gonna need supplies when we pop the hood. All right, what do we got in here? What is on your sale behind the counter? So these are all good. Wipers good. That's fine. I don't know what linen cloth is used for. Battery fuse is fine. Toolkit. So engine oil maybe we need. And coolant maybe we need. Well, actually we do need that for sure. And let's grab a couple uh, steaks. Okay, my inventory is full, so that's all right. Is there anything else we need, or is that good for now? It's good for now, I think. Okay, you can't go wrong with a with a couple steaks. Uh, okay, let's pop the hood. Repair time. All right. Uh, one of the easy ones is engine repair. I think you just click a button. Oh, I must have a toolkit. Uh, did I put that away then? Well, we'll find out here. Let's check oil. Alright, so let's pour in, and I'm assuming it just has to be between here. Oh, I poured too much in. I can't take it out, so that makes sense, I guess. Uh, oh, cancel? I don't get, I don't get what happened there. Okay, I'm assuming oil's good. I don't understand what happened. Coolant. Pour. We just fill this up, I guess. Or whatever we have. Okay, that's fine. All right, okay. Uh, the radiator thing, which we can't get to because we're probably to fall off the, the shield thing. Uh, fuse box. Can't do wipers. Maybe we'll... Scrape the windshield while we're here. Full maintenance. We are doing full maintenance, getting all sorts of points. And then I think you can click on this air filter to get some more points for just wiggling your hands around. Okay. So that's good. You got to have fuses for this. That's fine. Uh, Alright. So what we need to do is get down. Okay, then we need to fix these lights. Okay, so hold. Click. And there. And there. And there. Okay, only 10 points for that, but we need the light working, so let's do this one. Okay, that one was easy, only five points. Uh, okay, so if we pull this off, 
Now can I fix the radiator thing? Okay. Radiator? Yeah, now we can fix it. There. 250 points. Good. <clears throat> then we'll put the cover back on. So that's everything I can do here. Alright, so we're fueled up, oiled up, cooling up. That's fixed. Lights are fixed. You must use one radiator cover to use this mechanic. Do I not have one? Is it a one a one time use? Why can't I just put it back on again? I guess I guess it's gone now. Oh no, there it is. Okay, whatever, it worked. Uh battery. Okay, let's jump in and see if there's any other warnings. So I take it I need a new battery because uh, the engine's got a lightning bolt in it. Alright, we can we can change the battery. Well, I'll check the engine one more time here. Uh, engine. Oh, right, 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 right. Our toolkit, that's what we need. I forgot. So it is probably just the engine repair. Alright. Engine power, maybe that's why there's a lightning bolt in the engine symbol. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go here. And look around. Let's throw some steak in there. And while it's cooking, we'll get our toolkit. Wait, where's the toolkit? Uh. How did I lose my toolkit? I put it in here. I'm confused. Did I break my tool kit? Let's eat some steak anyways, make us feel better. Winter coat. All I got is tire repair kit. Did I put it in the outside one? Oh, the organization. Trucking survival game. No. And I have two chainsaws. How do I have two chainsaws? What happened to my toolkit? <laughs> Alright, let's buy a toolkit. At least I'm hoping it's here. Do you guys have toolkits? You do. 50 bucks. Alright. I don't think I need anything else. Um, wait. Let's fill up on food again. Uh, fried chicken tenders. And some frozen pizzas. And frozen pizzas are awesome. Let's keep going there. Alright. Now, shoot, can we fix the engine now? Engine fixed. Nice. Alright, temporarily repaired. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's get down. So how much experience did I get from all that? So truck's in good shape again, finally. Trucker. Oh, level four. Okay, so I almost got a whole nother point. But you need, okay, because we only need one point for this because I think definitely we need the normal workshop. Okay, so that's good. Now uh, we'll hop in here and do a little bit more inventory management because that's always important. Okay, oops. It's kind of weird. And we'll throw our food in the fridge. There. And then this is empty, right? Yeah. And then... Uh, oh, right, yeah, there's only uses on the toolkit. Got it. Let's throw the toolkit in there for now. 
We'll keep these on us. That's fine. Okay, good. Now we have to find a job to do. Okay, so I looked at uh, the job list, and I picked a grain. So it's a cl it's a class B, and I haven't done it yet. Uh, and the money's okay. It goes down to the south again, uh, which is all which is all right. And it's not very far to this. I, I guess it's a farm, which would make sense. But we're we're gonna find it. Okay, and we should be able to get there and get this all done uh, before night falls. So we are in good shape for a change. Usually there's some kind of problem going on, like we're hungry or tired or something broken. But uh, I we're in good shape for a change. Everything's good. So hopefully we can just keep it that way for winter. Get through winter here. Well, I figured out how to turn that motel thing that was stuck on. Like, even if I turn the game off and turn it back on, the little tooltip still up there, uh, just turn tutori or tutorials off in the in the menu. Figured there's probably a button somewhere, but it should really go away, not stuck on the entire time. So it's saying I can go to the farm from this angle. I don't think I've ever been in here. It's always cool to check out a new place. Yep. So this is cool. So that's where you can unload. So is it all, I think it's just three shipments of grain. Yeah, grain, grain, or grain, which is all right. We'll just sort of point the truck this way. There. And, uh... Handbrake. And we'll go see him. I forget which one I want. No, I don't know why he went out that way. Okay. I don't remember which job I want, though. Hey, farmer! How are you? Uh, I want to go to Grand Alaska, because that sounds fun, and it pays the most. Let's go to Grand Alaska. Oh, we've been there before, though. I don't remember what that is. Maybe Palmer Distribution Center? Let's try that. See where it goes. I don't even know where it is. I, they're all going down to the south anyways. So which one are you? So you're the far green bin. And yeah, they all went down this way. So there's Palmer. And where is the... Oh, my troubles. I think Grand Alaska's down here anyways. So I don't think... There was a... Or maybe not. Yeah, right here. So they're both going to the same spot. It's like the same job. I just want to see the distribution center instead, so. Alright, in we go. And yeah, we're not really gonna turkey around. Whoop. And break. Whoop. I guess we can probably just back up to. Oh, actually, I forget which one it was. Is it the one that's right here? I'm going to assume it's this one. Where well, as we get close, it should show us. Oh, it does. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go this. Okay. Close enough. It's in the green. We'll take it. Okay. There. There. Off. Out we go. Let's hook up our... Our trailer here. Okay. And lock. <coughs> And cabling, sort of. We got noon and we got seven hours to get there. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem at all. We're going to grab this. Shove that in there. There we go. All cables connected. And I think you get, you get down by looking straight. Good. 
So that's there, and oh yes, we need uh, supports. Crank, crank, crank. Good. Uh, okay. Everything's good there. Truck's angled for kind of funny looking there. Uh, yeah. Time to roll out, I think. All right, handbrake off, ignition on, wipers on, and eh, don't. We gotta, we gotta do the scraper. <laughs> I, I lost my winter jacket again. He's back in his Hawaiian shirt. Even though the game registers the winter coat is on. He's, he, he's actually in his... Um, oh my god. The handbrake is not engaged. <sighs> Alright. Back in we go. Sort of. If he wants to open the door that would be great. Handbrake is on. Back out we go. Lovely animations. Uh, we can't possibly scrape the windshield without the hood up. So, you know, we gotta raise the hood. And windshield. Okay, there he goes. Minus 11 note. So I guess that's, that is pretty chilly. Good, and here. Now we can go. Alright. All right. Come on, crank the wheel. He's all slow about it. There we are. Trailer looks good behind us. And let's uh, get rolling. What's our distance? 345 miles. That's typically the distance I do. These episodes from those part. Well, the videos will be 30 minutes though, and I don't think I'm gonna get there in eight minutes. All right, try not not have an accident here. All right, on the road again. Nice wintry day, one in the afternoon. I, I mean, I I should get there about like mid afternoon, a little more, I think. We'll see how this journey goes to the south. Just keep an eye on the weather here. Just snowy conditions. That means it's just at the start of the winter, so I wonder how much worse it gets. This is a nice uh, wintry day, though. I can't get over those tracks that fly all over the road, like off the road and stuff. All right, I seen this one coming, so I was on the brake. I'm not even going to shift up. Because this is a sharp turn here. I'm going to take it nice and slow, not make a mistake. Alright, now we can shift up. There we go. Alright, let's do a view from the outside. Change it up. Last time was all inside the cab, so we'll go outside. Uh, I find the outside view a bit more entertaining. It's because you can see more of the scenery and see the cool truck, but I, I have accidents more <laughs> from the <laughs> outside. Oh! You! He turned right into me! Why? <sighs> Road rage. Okay, it's only 200. Uh, we can recover. Man, that was ridiculous. And the, the trucker gets blamed on him. I don't think there's much I could have done there. He turned right into the truck. Oh, we're going to need to slow down for this turn. Yep. Crank it, slide it around. So here's another farm here. I don't think I've uh, 
haven't visited here yet. Just drove by. It kind of looks cool. Because you can go up here and it's like a, a rest area or something. I remember to use that spot sometime in the future. Whoa. There we go. There we go. Load of grain. Heading down to the distribution center to be distributed to wherever. The rest of Alaska, I guess. Oh, remember to turn. There we go. I guess the new tires are working better. I know they're just the basics one, but not red anyways. Yeah, this farm looks kind of cool. dairy farm, I guess. <clears throat> that would be the milk house, I assume. <clears throat> Alright. Doing 50. We're going to make some good time here. Big turn coming up. Let's break. Oh, yeah, it does look like the tires do work better. That makes sense, though. It's just I didn't really notice too much of a difference when they were red before. But uh, they were sliding even with uh, the chains on, <clears throat> on some of the corners. So we're almost done uh, 100 miles already, so that's not bad. Still have to do those uh, points of interest. Someone pointed out in the comments that it, uh, the one I was stuck on is a, a camera, so you got to take a picture. And I think I, I knew that, but I couldn't find the glow, or I was looking for a sign or something. I don't know, maybe the yellow glow was on the... Like the thing you have to stand in? I, that's what I wasn't seeing. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. No problem. I can recover from this one, I think. Everybody just drives by. No one checking in on me. <laughs> Look, at the, Look at the tracks. Throw the weight too much, that's what happens. <laughs> Look at all the tracks up there. Oh, they just disappeared. There's all these tracks going off into the woods. One of these days, I'll have to do the tourist thing and stop by the photo shoots, but we'll wait till it's not so crazy wintertime. Springtime with the new truck, maybe I'll tour. Alright, so that slowed us down a little bit, but didn't cost any money, really. Here's a construction area. We're going to fly through it. Should be no problem. There's a sharp turn here, though. I think we can handle it. Oh, you go through the construction zone, which you can do on modes, too. Okay. That's interesting. It's like a whole construction depot right in the middle of the road. Take them on the outside. No oncoming traffic, so that's good. Whoa, whoa, hold on to it. Where's the corner? Oh, no, that's alright, I got it. Thought maybe it was going to be sharper than that. Good. 200 miles. We're almost halfway there already. I mean, these 300 and some odd mile deliveries are okay. They're not. They're not bad. Uh oh. Uh 
Uh, phew. It didn't didn't charge us a collision there. Okay, that was different. That one was my fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. We'll take it. Gotta get shifted back up again. There's another motel. Yeah, sleeping in the motel definitely helps. Keep that energy really high. Except for the $150. That's fine, though. Still in good shape. We should be able to get there in plenty of time. And s not starving and not sleepy and everything, so... Should be good. And before nightfall, like, pretty much perfect scenario here. The truck's all in good shape. All its fuel and fluids and stuff. Look at this big bridge. Oh, uh-oh. Thread the needle. Look at that. There's some skills. Alright. This, uh, this stretch is fairly simple now. Nice light bend to the left. Another one. Looks like we have a town coming up. Something's right here. I'm not going to be able to read the sign. Watch for traffic here. Okay, nope, that was good. All good. Kept our speed through there. Good. 140 or so miles left, not too bad. for this corner coming up. I'm going to slow down here and try and figure this out without running into anybody. Sorry. Little bridge. Oncoming traffic. No problem. we pros now. Now this is probably going to be a speed limit thing. Yeah, so I'm going to have to watch for... Please, we'll turn the light on. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Just a bunch of graphical glitches, which is always fun. Alright, good. Fifteen miles remaining. We're still in the south stretch. Eventually, I have to turn. Uh, was this like a two-lane kind of thing? I'm driving right down the grass. Yeah, I think it went into this uh, two different sections. That's fine. Okay, and then what do we got? Lights coming up or something? No idea. The road is right here, we got a green light, and we're good. Can hardly tell where the road is. I'm on it though. <clears throat> we get two lane side. Three o'clock and it's getting super dark. And I'm losing my voice and oh no. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I uh, just had to pause there to clear my throat. 
And I didn't see this like railing there in the snow. <laughs> that was a big hit. Oh, we're gonna lose a lot of money on that condition of the trailer. Darn it. Like I've seen the the sign coming. I'm like, oh, I'll just go on the right side of it. Uh, well. Radiator's broken again. Let's get some more experience points. Darn though, because that's money loss, right? Oh well. You get a season bonus, and uh, season bonus and parking bonus should cover all that. Loss anyway, so we should still get some money. I think I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Where are the snow plows? There we go. Now we can see this stretch. Sweet, I think I've been driving down the middle, like over here. Alright, this is a cool overpass. Seventy miles to go. This is a this is a good stretch. I like to do some jobs down in this area. Just because of these big highways that this big highway that's down here. You can make a lot of a lot of distance in a short time. Much easier in the summer, of course. Very easy trip in the summer. There we go. What do we got? Right hand turn coming up. 50 miles left. Uh, whoop! Oh, glitching, glitching. That's alright. I caught. I got it. I'll go flying out the road there. GPS helps a little bit, seeing what corners are coming up. Okay, so we should be getting off here. Okay, this, I might need to be braking going down here. Just because... That's fine. Alright, almost there now. Get our speed back up again. See what this distribution center is like. around here somewhere. I'm sure it is. Alright. Let's start signaling. Good. Oh, a burger joint. Can I stop in there and buy something? Got a bunch of right hand turns here. Okay, here's this one. Okay. Oh, I think we have been here before, haven't we? It has tons and tons of bays in the back. Darn, I want to see someplace new. How do we get in? Right here? Here, and then here? Oh no, maybe I haven't been here. No, I, I don't think I have. Here's the difficult spot, okay. Let's just see if we can straighten out and get that trailer right straight. 
Oh, give it a little tap. It's fine. No one saw that. There you go. Oh, missed a little bit. Let's bring her back around. Right for the bay door. Five stars, even though I'm not right on. Close enough, I guess. Good. How's the inside track working? Oh, <laughs> yeah, when you do the exterior view, you don't have to worry about the... <laughs> scraping the windshield off. We're doing the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers are frozen. Oh, all right. That's fine. Okay, so I have the damage engine again. Radiator and lights again, of course. So much for my truck being in great shape. Oh well, we made it there. Plenty of time, too. Alright. Good. Oh, I left the lights on again. Oh well. Uh, okay. The green is here. That's all that matters. And I think we'll actually make a profit this time. That would be good. There we go. And there we are. Good. Uh, oh yeah. Unlock. We got it. Look at all this snow. At least, oh, I guess it's getting really cold again. Let's get some cash. There you go. Four hours. 85% darn. Stars went up, though. Experience. Payment. Parking bonus. Season bonus. So the parking bonus pretty much negated the cargo penalty. Good. So a good little chunk of change there. And then we get... Some nice experience or no? Oh, we're almost got a trucking point. We can't do anything with it except make roadside assistance services cheaper, which is okay because I do use it quite a bit. But I'd rather go for like uh, trucker license C. Or can you skip ahead to this one? Interesting medical transport orders could be cool. I'll probably go for this though to see what the C class jobs are like. Even though I haven't done too many B class jobs. Uh, but I think that's okay for now. I'm going to get in here and uh, turn the lights off. And then maybe we'll take a sleep. Sleep in the cab here. Uh, but I think that's all for now. Where is that? There. I think that's good for now. Alright. Uh, so yeah, that worked out. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching. See you next time. Everybody, take care.